Hi guys, this is MMA here bringing another fight prediction for UFC 159 main card. This one a light heavyweight bout between Phil Davis and Vinny Magalesh. It's weird that Vinny Magalesh called him out, uh, called out Phil Davis. Um, yeah, it's a really strange one that. Uh, I don't really know why, uh, any reason in particular. I don't feel like, I feel like possibly Vinny Magalesh just wants to boost himself up the rankings. He's coming off a five fight win streak, obviously against much lower competition and the UFC is only one and two. Um... I don't think I'm on the level of Phil Davis. I'm going to give this win to Phil Davis. I'm thinking second, third round TKO, to be perfectly honest. I think I really rate Phil Davis. He's ranked currently ninth in light heavyweight division. I think that's crazy. I think that's too low. Um, he's got wins over Tim Boach, um, Little Nog. Obviously, he's recently lost to Rashad Evans fairly recently. But uh, the idea that Rashad's in at number seven above him, uh, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Glover Teixeira is ranked in at 8, which is absolutely crazy. He needs to be higher up for sure. He's a top 5 guy after beating the likes of Rampage. Um, and yet you still have, for some reason, Shogun, who's in at 5. Uh, who's coming off, well, three out of his fo five out of his his three out of his last 5 fights are losses. He's lost Dan Henderson, Gustafsson, and John Jones. So I have no idea why he's in at 5. That seems way too high to me. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm looking forward to this fight. Always love seeing Phil Davis fight. He's an absolute monster athletically. But then so is Vinny Magalesh. Vinny Magalesh brings incredible level Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Like world champion level, sort of almost on the same pain as Damian Meyer level Brazilian jiu-jitsu to the table. Uh, which is crazy. If he can... Phil Davis is obviously wrestler by trade. He may well instigate the takedown. Um, if he does, he's in a world of trouble because Vinny is nasty off his guard. Which means he may well submit him. I think the key to it is Phil Davis keeping it in stand-up. I once remember seeing in The Ultimate Fighter, Vinny Magalesh saying, I don't like to get hit in the face. <laughs> That's always a, a weird thing for a fighter to admit. Um, I think if he keeps the fight standing, I don't think Vinny's going to be able to take him down. He's unlikely to pull guard. Phil Davis is so unbelievably athletic, as you can see from the picture. Um, I mean, the guy's an ectomorph, mesomorph, just, I mean, every sort of morph you can possibly get that's good for... Big, strong, athletic, muscular frame. I'd love to see him fight body style-wise against John Jones. I think those two body types match up really well. Um, but yeah, the guy's looking uh, looking seriously impressive. Um, I think he is going to soon make a run to the real top of this division. Currently ranked ninth. I feel as though he's going to... Rashad Evans is probably a bit too early for him. Find someone on that level. I get a feeling he's just got to... Uh, I mean, he's six and one in the UFC. He's only once that loss, that one fight to Rashad Evans. He seemed to be too low as a result of it. Rashad's still a quality fight. He looked terrible in his last fight, but he is still a quality fight, quality fighter. Um, I'd like to see him sort of make a run for sort of the top echelon, possibly get a title shot. I feel he needs this sort of win. This sort of win doesn't do too much for his career, though. He needs to beat a big guy. He needs to beat an Alexander Gustafsson, a Dan Henderson, Machida, Shogun, Glover Teixeira, someone like that, and that will really rocket him up to the uh, higher echelon of the light heavyweight division and possibly for a title shot because I think he's got the potential to be there it's whether he realises it but we'll have to wait and see but yeah I definitely think he's going to be too good for M Vinny Magalesh in this fight I don't think uh, Vinny's on that same level and I think he's just going to beat him up to be quite honest so uh, yeah through strikes TKO possibly ending it ground and pound he hasn't got the knockout power that some fighters have but I think he's going to be too good too powerful for him we'll have to wait and see this has been MMA bringing you another fight prediction please remember to like and subscribe Keep your eye out for UFC 159. It's going to be great. And uh, keep your eye out for more videos because they'll be on the way shortly. See you later, guys.